Hello, this is Christy, and today I'm going to show you how you can make scrolling text or scrolling credits like they show at the end of movies in Camtasia. It's a very easy procedure and let's go step by step. I have a blank project in Camtasia now and if you want to check your screen size you can go to the top menu and click on project settings. I have it set to HD and the background is black. And I'm going to just use some filler text as a demonstration. So I'm going to go to lipsum.com and just copy some of this text that's random here. I'm not going to actually write some credits and copy two paragraphs and I'm going to put them into Camtasia and make them scroll. So the first thing to do is go to annotations and use this text annotation or this one it doesn't matter which one you can change the size and the font so I'm gonna click on this one place it on my scene and center it you can use Camtasia's guides to center it here it doesn't matter because we will scroll it double click inside and click uh, control V uh, press control V to paste my text you see now it's very small so you can adjust the edges to how wide you want to go with your text um, and then we will open the properties to change the size and the font if we want we can make it also taller and like this so now we want to make it look like credits so I'm gonna just double click inside and just put some uh, new paragraphs in here just like they look on credits the nice thing about this is that you can change also the font individually for the phrases so you uh, if you want some of these phrases to look different all you have to do is just select it and maybe change the styling here or the uh, font weight or the color and you will see that it actually just changes it individually for that piece of text. I'm going to keep on clearing these and making them narrower lines just to show it to make it look a bit more like credits look at the end of movies. Right, so I finished breaking down my text. Obviously at some point it becomes quite small and hard to see, but there's not a problem. You can zoom out using your mouse wheel and pull your text even outside of your canvas for the moment. It doesn't affect your text and you can scroll it up and down and do your edits. Right, so I finished breaking down my text now and I am ready to make it scroll up and down, up basically. And the way to do this is you want to add a custom animation to your text. So in my timeline here, I have my text. I can scroll in to see it better. So let's see that uh, for the moment, my animation takes almost five seconds. Obviously, that is very fast for a whole long text like this. You may have it longer. So I can make it longer by dragging the edges of the text first. So let's suppose that my credits will take about 30 seconds. So I'm going to make it about 30 seconds long. And the first thing I want to do is uh, move the text to the bottom of the screen completely and out of the screen so with the text selected place my playhead at the start and press down this will push the text down until it goes out of your scene if you want it to go faster you can hold down the shift key while scroll while pushing your text down so this is the part of the video where the text is at the bottom out of the canvas 
So we want to add a custom animation to my text. So we will go to animations, go to the animations tab and click custom and drag it onto your clip. Now, it doesn't matter where you drag it because we will change it. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. So you can see the animation has two ends, the start and the end. So we want to move the playhead to the beginning of my clip and drag this starting animation to the beginning of the clip also. So this is the current position and we will drag the end of the animation at the end of the clip. And with the clip and animation selected, we see that the end of the animation is red. It's a red dot, meaning it's selected. So my playhead is there also. And now I want to move the text all the way up and out of the canvas at the other end. So again, pressing the up arrow. Remember, my text was still selected. Hold down the shift key to make it move faster and scroll it past the ending of the animation. Scroll it past the top of the canvas. Now, there's another thing you must do because now that let's see if the animation works. So I'm going to scroll to the start and play. As you can see, my text is scrolling, but we notice that it's accelerating. So we, we don't want to do that because it's not, uh, it's using the easing of the animation from Camtasia, which is, I think, automatic. So it starts slow, it speeds up around the middle and then slows down again. We want the credits to scroll constant speed. So right click on the animation and from the enable easing, we will not leave it to auto. We will set it to linear. So this will make it scroll at a constant speed. So let's see if it works now. Okay, so my text is scrolling at constant speed. If you don't like the speed, so maybe you want to expand this animation to be about a minute, all you have to do is just scroll out, drag your video, your clip duration to one minute like this. And then don't forget to also drag the animation and point to the end of your clip like so. So now your animation should be even slower. So it's going to take about a minute for the credits to scroll from the bottom all the way to the top. So if you are reusing this, you can save it to your library by pressing right click here and adding it to your library. So next time you can use it in other projects. This is Camtasia 2020. So you can save this to library and reuse it with the animation and everything in other projects. If the credits are too long, so they become hard to edit. You can actually create two of them and put them one after the other so that you can put a piece of the credits in one of them and another piece in, in another one. Just try and keep them sort of equal size and equal length so that the text doesn't resize. So they, they look the same. And then you can enqueue one after the other and you can let me demonstrate if I copy this and I go to the end and paste it. You can then add this one after the other. So when my first animation stops, the new one starts and follows it. So you may have to adjust some of the starting points and end points. So my animation is finishing, let's say it, it starts here. So right after this one, we can start the second one. So you actually overlap the starting point mid sort of third of the way through, depending on how long your initial text is going. So like you see now, 
the second text let's make this one a different color the second text follows the first one and if I have copied and not changed the duration of the second clip and the size and everything it should actually follow seamlessly uh, after the first text like you see here so with this procedure you can create very long titles scrolling text as long as you like and has many versions of it as you like on the same video so i hope this was useful thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel like it and share this video if you enjoyed it and see you next time